I'm Eric, and I'm the product director at 4CD. And today, I'm very excited to be able to show you 4CD's uh, latest solution for doing fully automated uh, threat modeling and attack simulations in uh, AWS. Uh, but before I jump into the demo, I'm going to give a brief introduction to threat modeling and attack simulations and how we use those concepts in, in our solutions. Uh, so, uh, threat modeling is about thinking like an attacker to figure out what combination of weaknesses an attacker might exploit and in order to mitigate them in the most effective way before an actual attacker exploits them. So, in short, attacker thinks in graph and effective defenders should do the same. So, until today, this has been a very typically a very manual process. So, you create a model of your system, maybe on a whiteboard or in some threat modeling tool. You then define profiles of attackers and their goals in your system. And you then manually assess the potential attack graphs of those attackers to find weak spots and uh, possible uh, mitigations. But we are at 4CD. Uh, we automate this process by using threat modeling and attack simulations. Um, simulations and uh, uh, computer-aided design, or CAD, are a key part of most other engineering domains. So let's say that you are designing um, a new bridge. You then create a model of that bridge in a, in a CAD tool and then simulate mechanical stress on the model to find any weak spots in your design. And we do exactly that, but for cybersecurity. Uh, with our product, SecureCAD. So with SecureCAD, uh, we leverage the concept of threat modeling to describe IT systems as models, and we then simulate the attacks, uh, the effects uh, of an attacker trying all types of attacks uh, to compromise your high value assets. Just like simulating an earthquake on your uh, bridge model. And SecureCal will then tell you the most likely path of the attacker from the attacker's entry point to your high value asset. And as with our bridge design, we can then tweak the model, explore uh, the effectiveness of suggested mitigations, compare, design, uh, compare designs, and build the most beautiful and, IT and earthquake resistant IT system that you can ever imagine. So uh, what about existing systems? We're not designing something new. We already have something. Uh, we have already released our beautiful abomination on the world with maybe hundreds of thousands or uh, 60 million uh, active and impatient users and hundreds of new vulnerabilities each day. So actually, on, on average, an enterprise finds over 800 vulnerabilities across 1,000 assets each day that they have to assess and prioritize. So with SecureCal, we try to give the, the defenders a fighting chance by putting these vulnerabilities into the context of the actual system, including the structural vulnerabilities of the system, so the networking, um, firewalls, all the users, configuration mistakes, your high-value assets, and so on. Um, but a great thing about an existing, existing system is that it produces a lot of data. Uh, we can use that data to actually generate the model automatically, so we don't have to build it manually. And with cloud environments, of course, we have the added luxury of having um, APIs that can actually describe the whole cloud, cloud environment for us, including uh, its configuration, accounts, access rights, and so on. And that data can then be le leveraged to generate a model in near real time uh, to take automated threat modeling and attack simulations uh, to a whole new level. So today, we are introducing SecureCAD Vanguard, uh, which is a fully automated threat modeling and attack simulation tool for AWS. And SecureCAD Vanguard will automatically generate uh, a one-to-one -one mapping of your AWS environment uh, in the model and then simulate attacks on that model. So it will not have any effect of your, on your actual environment. And the model includes networking, security controls, access management, vulnerabilities, all your machines, 
containers, etc. Et Anything that we can get from, from AWS or if you have any vulnerability scanners on your AWS environment. So I'm now going to do a live demo of this on an actual uh, AWS environment that we have set up. Let's see. So this is uh, SecureCat Vanguard. Uh, it's a web application. So I'm going to log in here. Oh, it worked. Uh, <laughs> um, so for us to be able to, to actually get uh, the data from AWS, you can either create a role uh, in AWS in your account with, with specific uh, rights to read the data, and you can generate an access key, a temporary key, and put that in the tool so we can access uh, all the APIs of your uh, account. You can also do that yourself uh, locally and then upload the data, but I'm going to show you uh, how we do it uh, with access keys. So this is the access keys to our uh, cloud environment in AWS. We have built a small demo environment just to show you this. And I'm also going to add some additional data, which is um, a vulnerability scan by Nessus that we have done on the, uh, in the cloud environment as well. So it will pull all the data from AWS and also add the uh, the data from the vulnerability scan. So I'm going to cross my fingers and press go here. So what, the, what Vanguard does now is that it uh, queries the API for all the information and builds a model of your, uh, of your environment. So it takes all the, the instances, your databases, the security groups, routing tables, everything that, uh, that's in your environment. Once the model is done, it then adds an attacker to the model. In this case, the, the default uh, scenario is that there is an attacker coming from the internet. So, we have, so now we have a model of our AWS environment. We have an attacker in the model, and we are going to take a look at the model now. So this is an overview of our model. So this is also automatically uh, generated from the data. And this is not just a, uh, an illustration of the model. This is, this is actually a functioning model that simulates all the traffic and data flows and accounts and IAM and stuff like that. So this is an actual model. But this is um, just an overview of that. But of course, we have all the, the routing tables, uh, all the roles in IAM, uh, all the routes, all IP ranges, all ports, everything from AWS. So this is a functioning model that simulates network traffic and uh, user access and so on. But as I mentioned, or as I showed you, I also added uh, a vulnerability scan. Uh, I can just go back here and say what this is. So we have... Um, on the top there, we have a customer web server. So this is an internet-facing server that customer access. And it speaks to an application server uh, that writes data to a database. And there's also a business intelligence server for the, for the office people, and also a bastion host to where you can SSH to, to your environment. So this is actually all the vulnerabilities that was found by the scanner uh, on, on the four instances that we have in our model. So there is about 20 or so of vulnerabilities, and we, somehow we have to try to, to prioritize what to fix first and what is the most uh, efficient one to, to, to fix. Um, so what we can do is that we can actually look at the critical paths from the attacker to our instances and see what, what attacker has actually exploited to, to, reach our, to reach our high value assets. So let's take the, the application server. Um, so what this shows us is the critical path from the attacker in red here 
to our high value asset. In this case, it's the application uh, server in, in the customer VPC. And what we also can see is that the attacker has actually exploited uh, a vulnerability. So this is actually an Apache struts vulnerability. It's in NVD here. I think that's the one that was used in the Equi Equifax breach as well. So this is an actual, actual vulnerability that's in, in the web service. Uh, and the attacker had to use, use it twice to first compromise the, the web-facing server and then uh, connect to the application server and use the, the same vulnerability uh, again on that server because it's running the same Apache Struts version. Um, we can also look at uh, a report. So what we, I'm not going to go into details, but basically what we see is that uh, it's compromised instantly, basically, because of this, of this vulnerability. And we see one of our most weak, our most uh, weak spot is the Apache Struts applications. So what we can do now is that we can go back. And now uh, I have done a new vulnerability scan. We have patched the Apache Struts. Uh, so I'm going to do this again with uh, the scan where we have patched this specific vulnerability. And remember, we had like 18 other vulnerabilities, vulnerabilities as well that were all critical and high uh, in uh, Nessus. So I'm going to pick the patched, uh, the scan where we have actually patched this struts. Uh, vulnerability, and I'm going to press go again, and hopefully this <laughs> this works again. So now it's actually building the model again. It uh, queries all the APIs and builds the model again, uh, and then adds the the, the vulnerabilities when we have uh, patched uh, the applications. And now it's running the the attack simulations uh, on the model. Let's see if we yeah. So now it's done. And we can go back to the report again and see that now our risk exposure is, is zero. Uh, but we can also go back to the view of the model and actually look at this vulnerability overview again. And as you can see, there are still about 18 or something vulnerabilities left in the model. But in the context of our environment, the demo environment that I have here, this doesn't matter. Because the only ones that matter was, was the ones that were actually usable by the attacker. The rest of these uh, vulnerabilities, they are still critical or, or high uh, vulnerabilities, so they are serious. But because of the configuration of AWS, they are not reachable, so they are not exploitable by, um, by the attacker. Uh, that's what that was it for the demo. Thank you very much. Any. <laughs>